Alrighty guys, so in this video we are going to be explaining the SPS update. We're going to be explaining everything on how you change the settings to get it to work, what it involves. Alright, so first to start things off, watch Ben's video that he made. Ben's our developer if you don't know that. Um, he made a video explaining how you can build the indicator out or the strategy out for for us to be able to use it with SPS. Okay, it's only about 20 minutes. He, he explains everything. He does it in an EMA example. And you can make that with any indicator. So you can use any indicator on Ninja Trader. Okay. Um, we're going to explain the indicators we have today. So we pre bundled some for you. So we have right here EMA SPS. We'll add that in the update. So you should have that right now. Um, EMA SPS, RSI SPS and SMA SPS. So when you get this zip file, um, which should be in this email um, or in the description of this, whatever, should be attached to the SPS is what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> if it's not already imported when you install it, then again, you just import it like a normal uh, Ninja Scripts. So you'd go to tools, then you'd go to import, then you go Ninja Script add-on, okay? And then from here, you're going to find SPS indicator examples, import it. You're good to go. Okay. Um, from there, let's explain what to do. Okay. So we are going to start off just showing you the EMA strategy. Okay. So per usual, we're just going to add SPS to our chart there and we're going to click EMA SPS and add that to our strategies. Okay. Now for this example, I like, I want to use the 200 EMA. So I want to have 200 EMA take longs when we're above the 200 EMA and shorts when we're below the 200 EMA. Okay. So I'm going to change EMA SBS example right here to the number of 200 and we can enable that. Okay. Then in SBS, we are going to, yours is going to say nothing here. Okay. So yours is going to have nothing here or say none. Okay. And what we're going to do is check this box. So we're using the indicator filter. Okay. And then we are going to have to follow these steps. We're going to go to our main Ninja Trader page here. We are going to click new, then Ninja script editor. Okay. And this is how you're going to copy the name tags. And this is how you're going to do it when you create your own. Okay. So we're going to be in the Ninja script editor. We're going to double click strategies on the right side and we're going to see EMA 21 or whatever you name yours. If you make a different indicator. Okay. So we're going to double tip, double tap this. Okay. We're going to have all the code for this indicator pop up from here. Um, we're just going to scroll down and all this code is, is pretty much we have the EMA line and it's, printing something on the chart for us when it crosses above or below printing a symbol. Okay. I'm going to scroll down and we're going to see this at the bottom EMA diamond up EMA diamond down. Okay. So we're going to copy this, just copy the EMA diamond up copy. Then we can minimize. Now we're going to go back into our strategy. So right click on your chart, go to strategies. We're going to scroll down and this we're going to paste in here. So I'll paste here. So what this means is diamond up, right? We cross above, we cross up above the 200 EMA. Once we have the diamond up print on the chart, we have the longs turn on. So that makes sense. When we cross up above the EMA, we have longs turn on. And since we want longs above and not shorts above, we're going to also put here at the bottom diamond up when we cross above shorts turn off. Okay. We're going to click apply and okay. We're going to have to head back over to the code and then we're going to copy the next thing, which is EMA 21 diamond down. Okay. Copy, minimize, go back into our strategies and we're going to paste this here. So when, when uh, diamond down, when we cross below and cross down of our EMA, we have longs turn off and we will have shorts turn on. Does that make sense? Okay. So 
Everything else is normal SPS, okay? We've added in, of course, the max stop loss and ticks and the min stop loss. So uh, you can put in, I don't want a stop loss that's tighter than this or bigger than this, okay? Fairly self-explanatory there. Everything else is the same as, as per usual. Then we'll click enabled. I would recommend going to clicking the template at the bottom right, clicking save and just save, you know, you can name it, I named mine EMA longs above, shorts below. Okay, that's what I named mine. Then we'll click apply. Okay, so we have our 200 EMA enabled and our SBS algo with the longs and the indicators all there enabled. Okay, so now on our chart here, we have <clears throat> the giant gold line in the middle of our chart. That is our 200 EMA. We are going to click run and we're going to show you what this does okay so it'll be the same process on every other indicator okay i'll explain some of the other ones as well um, but we'll have it fast forward here till nine and then it'll show what's going on okay and again you can make any indicator you want so any indicator administrator, all you have to do is add a symbol. So it prints a symbol, okay? Which again, Ben's video explained pretty well. So we have it able to start trading. You can see we didn't have the short there. It's above the 200 EMA. Didn't have the short there. It's above the 200 EMA. Order filled. And we get a long right Order there. Order canceled. Try and pause. So this long was right here, which is above the 200 EMA. We get filled above the 200 EMA, and this trade ends up working out fully. Order canceled. Okay. So again, that trade was above the 200 EMA, and it ended up bouncing right off of it. So that trade ended up working. We'll wait for one short example just to show you that as well. So it's more just taking it with a trend of sorts, okay? Because that's how we have it. You can set it to whatever you want. If you wanted to, to use a uh, 21 EMA or a 100 EMA, 50 EMA, that's up to you. And you can change the tags around so you can have it. So maybe you want shorts above the 200 EMA and longs below, kind of like selling in, in premium, buying in discount, you can do that as well. So that is all up to you guys, right? You play around with it, you find what you like. We're waiting for another trade. I wanna show you guys a short example here. This is just from the last week. This is April 22nd here. If we ever get a, a short example. I think we had a short example on the 21st. I'm gonna to switch to the 21st here. Um, we'll let that load, but you saw there a great long example. We're going to fast forward to there. Okay. And we'll let this run and show you a few more examples here with the EMA and then we'll jump into the RSI. Okay. I'm not going to show you examples of the RSI. I'm just going to kind of show you how it works and same thing with the SMA. Okay. Cause it all works generally the same. Okay. Um, here you can see we avoided these long trades because we're below the 200 EMA, they would have lost, okay? Order filled. We get filled short here because again, the entry point is below the 200 EMA, okay? And would have had a pattern too short if you didn't get this fill as well. And that one Order ends up canceled. hitting the first TP Order and canceled. the second TP there, okay? So again, a couple of examples there showing how that works, okay? Now, let's jump into the other ones, okay? So we have a few others pre-built for you. We have RSI, okay? So we'll do RSI, we'll add that to our chart. And again, you can change the RSI period, all this stuff, okay? I'll leave it on the default 14.3 for this example, and I'm gonna show you guys what to do again. So here, you would have to, again, go into the um, NinjaScript editor, click on RSI, 
scroll down, copy the diamond up. Okay, and then go back to your chart, copy the diamond down, go back to your chart. Okay, same as the other steps. And then I have mine set up like this. So I'm gonna load mine. RSI, so this is what I have, diamond up, longs on, shorts off, same thing. Diamond down, longs off, shorts on. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that's on. We'll enable. And then again, it's enabled here, okay? So now on the bottom of our chart here, we see the RSI. I drew a line here myself on the 50. So what Ben, our developer says is, um, it is when it's above or below the 50. So if it's above the 50, it would print a green. If it's below the 50, it would print a red, a red diamond, right? So we can, we can fast forward this a little and I'll show you guys the diamonds on the chart and how it takes the trades off of that, okay? Okay, so um, green diamond right here. So it crossed slightly above the 50, okay? So 50.2 and then red diamond, you can see that here. Okay, and again, these are now going based off of your your um, orders here. So again, diamond up, which is the green, it's crossing above. So that's when our longs would turn on. So when we see a green diamond, our longs would be turning on, and our reds, uh, red diamonds, our shorts would be turning on. Okay. So you can um, mess with this. You can mess with the RSI and how how it moves. Again. Order filled. Um, Order canceled. Let me pause. Okay, so here, red diamond, we got a pattern too short here. Ended up just getting stopped out and then it came back to us. Okay, so red, uh, red diamond, so it's below the 50 of the RSI and we ended up taking a short. Okay, we'll keep it on. I think that one ended up going to full TP if we didn't get stopped there. Just a little bit of a, a fake out there. Order filled. Here we had a long, okay which when it, the green diamond printed here, we were above the 50 when the green diamond printed, right? We just ended up kind of crossing below when the order happened, but we were still green diamond. The re a red diamond hasn't printed yet, okay? So we are still longs because again, the red diamond hasn't printed yet. We can fast forward this. Order canceled. And you can see it, in live time, this may happen a little different um, than replay because replays, uh, you know, for printing stuff on the charts might be a little slow. Um, but you can see it just printed the red diamond as we got into the trade. Okay. Um, but this trade ended up working. So again, it might be slightly different in live time. Just know green, it'll print. Uh, you'd be looking for the longs in this case. Reds, you'd be looking for the shorts. Okay. Um, and again, you can change the actual RSI, like how it looks with by changing the period and the smooth here, which is up to you. Okay, and then I would add the actual indicator to your chart, which is what I've done. Add the actual EMA, add the actual RSI with uh, what you have in the strategy to match it so you can visually see it as well, okay? Um, but that's, that's just a trade there, showing you an example of how that works. Order canceled. Okay. And then again, it's the same thing with the SMA, okay? So you can save that per usual. I'll add the SMA, okay? And again, it's the same thing as EMA, guys. You could put 200 here, um, click enable, okay? And I will change this. I'll do this example with you as well. So these are gonna have nothing in it. Okay, then we are going to go to our code. Oops, I have to apply that first. We're gonna to go to our code. We're gonna click on this uh, SMA cross example here. Okay, SMA cross example SPS. Double click, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna copy SMA diamond up. Copy, go to our chart. I'm gonna put diamond up, so I want longs above and shorts to turn off. I'll click apply. I'm gonna go back to our code. I'm gonna copy the diamond down. Okay, and copy. 
and I'm going to paste this here. So I want longs to turn off and shorts to turn on when we cross below. Okay. And then I'll click enable there. And again, we have it set to 200. And now I'm going to add also the SMA to our chart. So in the indicators, I'm going to scroll down until I see SMA right here. Click add, and we're going to put that to 200. And we'll change the color to, to um, let's do orange. That's too close to the other color. Green. And we'll change it to a three thickness. So the green is our 200 SMA. Okay, so it's gonna work the same way. Um, it'll have shorts right there. So you can see it prints the diamond when we cross above. So that, that means it'd be looking for longs. Then it prints a red diamond because it crosses back below, it'd be looking for shorts, okay? So right now the green diamond, so it's still looking for longs because we're currently still above that 200 SMA, all right? You can see it's printing the diamonds on the chart there. Very self-explanatory. Reds, in this case, how we have it set up, it's looking for shorts below. Um, you can always change Order that filled. though. Okay, so it printed green diamond here, then red diamond, then we got our entry long. That's because of the market replay. Um, you're gonna wanna slow that down in market replay. Live time, that'd be slightly different. Um, but again, just showing you how that works. Green diamond, it'd be looking for longs, red, but since we're skipping so much in market replay, it's not fully, fully accurate there. Um, but order canceled. That one was break even. Like, it, like it just cancel that out. Order filled. Here, okay. There's a good order example. Order canceled. Trying to pause. Order canceled. We had a oh, plot pause, please. A red diamond, then a green diamond, then a red diamond again, and then we had the pattern too short, and that took us down for a win. Okay. So just an example there, that's the three we have pre-packaged for you. If you have any questions about the coding side of things, I would reach out to Ben, our developer, BB3CS, okay? Um, he has a whole 20 minute video explaining how you can make it print a symbol on a chart for any indicator, okay? Um, if you need help too, AI is super good at this, this kind of stuff, ChatGPT, Claude, this kind of, if, if you don't know how to code at all, but his video explains how you do it without coding yourself at all. Okay, so it's very, like NinjaTrader does it for you. Um, but we've packaged with three, what we think would be the most popular. Okay, so um, that's it guys. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you later.